Hi everyone, this is Arvind from Mind Magics, and today I welcome you all to this amazing session on how to crack service now interview in first attempt. Okay, so now let us quickly have a look at the agenda for today's session. Okay, so guys, as you can see on the screen, these are the topics that we are going to cover in this video. Okay, so we'll start with what exactly is service now, a quick definition. Then we will have a look at why at all you should learn service now. Okay, then we will discuss what are the various career paths and the various skills that are essential for you to be a successful service now professional. Next, we will have a look at the various certifications of service now. And finally, we will conclude this session by understanding how do you land a service now job right in the first attempt. Okay, I hope everyone is clear with the agenda. Pretty much simple. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. Okay. So the first and foremost question, what exactly is ServiceNow? Okay, so ServiceNow is a US-based software company that develops cloud computing platform to help companies and businesses manage their digital workflows and enterprise operations. Okay, so the company's core business revolves around the management of incident, problem, and change of IT operational events. Okay, so the company specializes in IT service management, that is ITSM, IT operations management, that is ITOM, and IT business management, which is ITBM, and it offers several apps and plugins to help the users manage projects, teams, and client interactions. Okay, so ServiceNow is simple to integrate with other tools as well. Okay, so this was a quick definition or you can say a quick overview of what exactly is service now. Okay, so now the main question is why at all you should learn service now. So the IT sector is one of the few industries wherein if you have right skills, okay, so there are very less chances of you being jobless. Okay, so lots of businesses are looking at the current financial climate and bracing themselves for the future. But you can bet that their digital teams will remain largely unaffected. So companies these days are spending more on their tech solutions and this investment will increase regardless as they simply cannot afford to make mistakes when it comes to securing their digital information. Okay, so a lot of IT companies are now moving the entire operations to cloud in an attempt to lock down sensitive information and maximize productivity. So having skills related to service now will be very important in current scenario. It's much more secure alternative to having your servers on site as well as powerful service management solution that can serve different industries. So if you talk about the opportunities, so there are various opportunities and huge number of job openings which are available for service now professionals. Okay, and when it comes to domains or you can say the industries that are using service now, so there are a lot many industries using them, such as IT and services, computer software, healthcare, insurance, higher education, governance, and so on. Okay, so many industries or you can say the domains are in desperate need of skilled service now professionals. Okay, now if you answer this question like why you should learn service now, so there are many candidates who you know take into consideration like what salary can I earn by learning service now? Okay, so the average salary for a service now developer in the US is over 100,000 US dollars per annum. Okay, so if you talk about India, for a fresher candidate who has graduated from an engineering college, okay, so the salary can be four to five lakhs per annum initially. Okay, so with experience, this salary can grow up to nine to 10 lakhs per annum. Okay, so these salary figures are not at all bad if you want to start your career as a service now professional. Okay, now moving ahead, the important point that we are going to discuss is what are the career paths that are available for service now professionals? Okay, so as you can see on the screen, these are the career paths that you can opt for, such as functional consultant, administrator, process architect, developer, technical consultant, business or process analyst, platform owner, technical lead and implementation specialist. Okay, so if you're a fresher or a guy who has less experience with service now, so you can start your career as a 
administrator or a developer okay so ideally administrator would be a better option then gradually you can you know proceed to the developer service now developer option okay so once you work in these two roles like admin and the developer role so after that you know like let's say for example if you work for 3 to 4 years in these particular roles after that you can shift to functional consultant or you can say the technical consultant and technical lead or the implementation specialist okay so these are the roles meant for experienced folks so i hope everyone is clear with this thing so now coming to the very important part of this session which is what are the skills of service now professionals okay so as you can see on the screen these are the skills of service now professionals so the first point over here is the programming language okay so guys it is very important so if you are in the it industry it is very important to learn at least one programming language okay so you can either choose c sharp or java okay so both of them are object oriented programming languages okay so having hands on experience with either one of them is very important okay so the next point over here is the web development skills okay so what do you mean by web development skills here i'm talking about html css and javascript after that you also need to know bootstrap okay so once you have these skills like html css javascript bootstrap along with one of the ui frameworks such as angular react and vue so you can develop interactive websites and web applications okay so these are the important skills for service now okay so after that you must understand or you can say you must have good knowledge on data structures algorithms object oriented design and design patterns okay so in the first step we covered one programming language on based on that you can study data structures algorithms object oriented design and design patterns as well okay so the next point over here is extensive and hands on knowledge on ajax apis active directory and agile methodology okay after that you must understand how does an enterprise software work okay and you must also have understanding of hr related systems or you can say hr related skills the next point over here is very important you must have advanced problem solving skills okay so what do you mean by problem solving skills okay so let's say you you go for an interview and the interviewer asks you a particular question okay so he gives you a scenario kind of question or a problem based question okay so normally what happens is more than the solution or the answer to that question the interviewer will check how do you approach that problem okay so it is very important to have a good approach to solve that problem okay so it might not be the case that you are completely able to solve that problem or you are completely able to solve that question okay so the interviewer will be mostly focusing on the approach and the steps that you follow to solve that particular question or that particular problem okay so that's why it is very important to have advanced problem solving skills okay and last but not the least it is very important or critical to have good communication skills and presentation skills okay so by communication skills i mean that you must have good verbal as well as written communication skills okay and if you talk about presentation skills so normally you should be able to you know present or deliver the knowledge that you have to your peers or colleagues as well okay so let's say for example you should be able to present a particular topic or you know a new tool or a new technique that is you know trending these days in the it industry so if you have something in your mind related to that particular tool or skill so you should be able to present it to your manager let's say your tech lead or team lead and the higher management and so on okay so having good presentation skills is also very important for service now okay so this was all about the skills that you must have okay so guys i hope you have understood whatever pointers that we have covered in this section okay now let's move ahead and discuss the next point okay so the next point is about the certifications which are available for skilled service now professionals okay so as you can see on the screen these are the certifications that you can opt for 
Okay, so as I told you earlier, you can start with certified systems admin. Okay, then you can go for certified application developer. And then after that, you can go for certified implementation specialist. Okay, so as I've discussed earlier, these are the certifications, you know, in order of the experience that you have. Okay, so initially you can go for the first certification that is system admin. Gradually, like if you have two to three years of experience as a system admin, then you can opt for the application developer certification. Okay, and after that, like if you have four to five years of experience, then you can go for certified implementation specialist certification. Okay, so these are the important certifications that you must have if you want to make a good career in service now field. Okay, so what is the importance of this certification? We will discuss them in the later part of this session. Okay, so now the most important point of this session, how to land a service now job. Okay, so guys, as you can see on the screen, these are the five steps that you must follow to land a service now job in the first attempt. Okay, so the first point over here is grab the skills. So if you talk about the skills, we have already discussed what are the skills that you must possess to start your career as a service now professional. Okay, so if you talk about the skills, it's not only, you know, it's not sufficient to have the theoretical knowledge. You must also have hands-on knowledge with those particular skills. And how do you gain hands-on knowledge? So you gain hands-on knowledge by working on different number of projects. Okay, so this is the second point over here, working on different projects. Okay, so by applying the theoretical knowledge on the real world projects, you gain hands-on experience. Okay, and you can also show these projects on your resume. Okay, so having projects on the resume is very important to crack the service now job. Okay, then the third point over here is earning resume worthy credentials. Okay, so we have discussed the certifications in the previous part. Okay, so once you have those certifications, it means that you are good candidate or you can say you are a better candidate with worthy credentials to land a service now job okay so the certifications are a very good proof that you have theoretical as well as practical knowledge of service now okay so once you earn those certifications you can also you know highlight them on your linkedin profile okay so that way you get you know you grab the attention of the recruiters to your profile okay then the fourth point over here is connect to different opportunities. So what you can do is you can upload your resume to various employment portals such as Nokri, Indeed and so on. Okay, so that way you can, you know, connect to the various HRs of different companies. And what you can do is you can also ask your friends for referrals, you know, who's working as a service now professional. So you can ask them for referrals at their companies. Okay, and you can also connect to the various HRs on LinkedIn as well. Okay, so once you have a good resume and contacts, or you can say the connections with the people, with the right people in the industry, so you are all set for appearing for the interview. Okay, and once you schedule the interview with right attitude and with right skills, you can easily crack the job for service now. Okay, so these are the steps you must follow to land a service now job in the first attempt. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on how to crack the service now interview in first attempt. I hope you guys have understood whatever pointers that we have just discussed. If you have any queries related to this session, then you can write your queries in the comment section and my team is here to help you with all your doubts and queries. Okay, so thank you so much for being with us and I wish you all the best for your upcoming service now interview.